Hey, what's up, everybody? Lawrence Davis here with Spectacular Magazine, here to give you the preview on the North Carolina Central versus Duke game this Saturday. Coming into the game, both teams have a lot of respect for each other. As both coaches have mentioned numerous times that they look up to each other's program, especially Coach Mack, who said as they grow, they really want to follow in the footsteps of Coach Cutcliffe and how the Duke program has risen over the years. Also, this game is going to have a great impact on the city of Durham. Also, I'm excited for the North Carolina Central Eagles just because quarterback Micah Sanders is going to be getting his first start this Saturday. The key for North Carolina Central is, there, is going to be their composure. As a three-time MEAC champion, they're going to come into this game and get smacked in the mouth a couple of times. Will they hang their heads or will they continue to play hard until the very end? And for Duke, the key to the game is going to be their consistency. Coach Cutcliffe is looking for consistency within his passing game, especially his receivers. Will his receivers be able to take advantage and step up? And will we find that receiver who's going to be that go-to guy this season? We'll figure out this weekend. The matchup to look for this weekend is going to be the Duke receivers versus the North Carolina Central secondary. Last season, North Carolina Central only gave up 179 yards of uh, passing yards per game. This is coming with the shaky core of Duke receivers. Will there be a go-to guy that can step up for the receivers, or will the North Carolina Central University secondary have the upper hand and shut down the Duke passing game this weekend? This is going to be a measuring game for both teams as they're looking to find their rhythm and their identity. I expect that Duke is going to win 55-7 this week. North Carolina Central is going to be a very explosive team, but I just don't think that they're going to be over the hump just yet. However, I would not be shocked if this is going to be a close game just because earlier in the week, Coach Mack said that now they understand the type of player that they play when they come over to Duke. They know the type of athlete, so now they feel a little bit more prepared and a little bit more confident. But will, the, will it be a close game or will Duke end up running away with it? Only time will tell. Join us this weekend here at Wallace Wade Stadium here in Durham, North Carolina. For Spectacular Magazine, this is Lawrence Davis signing out.